finally we have uh, perfect dimension and uh, here uh, I show it the trinity of the power of the father of all the numbers the sequel 10 is also 10 rise to 10 rise to 10 equal to 10 rise to 100 and everything uh, comes out as uh, a percentage by the logarithm in base 10 rise to 10 uh, to 100 in percentage this calculus arrives to the constant of Faraday's which is directed in the six positive negative direction of uh, the Cartesian term. 96 uh, divided 6 uh, is uh, the quantity in one only positive direction and in this way it is as uh, the electric charge as uh, the atomic mass unit. The candela, light intensity 1, is uh, a wool and uh, it is exact one as all the percentage. It is expanded in the same six positive and negative direction of the Cartesian term. The candela can be represented also in a different uh, size and uh, so we have uh, the exact electrons mass and uh, that uh, quantity that uh, I have uh, evidenced uh, with uh, the red color that is the power corresponding to the atomic weight of the molecule of water, the champion of the weight. I'm showing that finally we have perfect quantities. The quantity of the candela becomes exactly the unit that in its 10 cycle reveals the same time of one day. So the exact way to extrapolate the atomic mass unit is from the logarithm of the power 10 raised to 100 multiplied 10 rise to minus 4 all in power of 1 divided 6 and the result is a precise number it is at the size of 10 rise 3 units made by the product between electron and the positron so at the kilogram 10 raised minus 51 multiplied by 10 raised 3 and equal to 10 raised to minus 28 kilograms the index 4 that is space time subtracted to the 100 of the absolute area is its space time reality 96 expanded in all the three directions of the Cartesian system that are 6 in the positive and negative space. Therefore, 96 divided by 6 equals 16 and is the unit of uh, 
the atomic mass unit, ma also of the electric charge and also the size of the C2. In the quantity 2 raised to 4 of the space time, in power of the base 2, the binary action reaction complex system, in one only of the six directions, where 2 raised to 4 is a different way to consider the 24 hours that are in 2 raised to the absolute 10 and equal to all the mass 10 raised to 3 plus all the time of 24 hours, the unit mass of the unit space and the unit time. Avogadro's number today is a 6.022 and etc., having not meaning as space. It was obtained by 100 divided by the atomic mass unit, which by mistake was valued with the decimals that mean antimatter at the just size of 10 raised to minus 28 kilograms. 100 divided by the 16 entire gets 6.2 one quarter and uh, it is the space in only the six direction and the time one quarter only if 100 first is counted in its reality 100 minus 4 equal to 96 and uh, only afterward divided by 16, only in this way it does the six complex direction of the space, and the number six now is that of Romano Amodeo, the number not plus of Avogadro, but of Amodeo. In conclusion, my system of measurement is a perfect one. The masses of the matter masses that are considered only in the integer part are so perfect one that, for example, the electron mass that in number is 54 and is referred to the atomic unit mass that is uh, 16, the product between 54 and 16 that uh, arrives to the same number of the earth day is uh, um, so eloquent that uh, we understand that uh, the entire rotation of the mass is obtained multiplying the electron valued in uh, unitary mass by the unitary atomic mass. The system is a really perfect one and finally the physics is unified. We'll have number precise and always that imprecision that all the atomic quantities today have. Only my language isn't precise one, but I hope you are patient with me.